So it's the middle of August, which is usually the hottest time of the year or one of the hottest times. It's still summer. There's still a, over a month left of summer. And where I live, it's going to be a high of 58 degrees. Right now, it's only like 48 or 47, something like that. And I'm just, you know, sitting here fucking freezing my ass off and like ju just wondering like, okay, this whole global warming thing, right? How am I supposed to like really like feel like an urgent need to address climate change and really care about this issue when, you know, it's just so like fucking stupid because every time that it's fucking hot outside and it's like really, really, really hot every single time where it's like an unusually hot day, you hear about how it's, you know, Armageddon is coming and how it's, you know, it's just going to get, keep, get, keep getting hotter and hotter until we all die and and we need to do something right now. We need to, you know, ban gas-powered cars. We need to do all these different things and, you know, do, like, all these regulations, put them all in place. And in my head, I'm like, okay, you go all crazy when it comes to that. But when we have days that are unusually cold, people are like, oh, that's also global warming. Global warming makes it colder, too. And I'm just like, okay. When you sit down and, like, look at the numbers, on average... Is the earth getting warmer? Yes, it is. Is human activity contributing to climate change? Yes, it is. So like, I know scientifically that, th that there is merit to this, but when I just hear it being argued to me, especially when it comes to politicians talking about, well, you know, because of it being hot on, on this day, we need to pass all these regulations and, you know, have some ramifications when it comes to the economy and being able to afford shit because, you, you know, like, there, there's a lot of, you know, if you look at the Green New Deal, it's, it's going to have a lot of negative effects when it comes to people, like, being able to fucking survive and just live, you know? So, but but people are like, well, it's, it's worth the cost because the world's going to end in, like, I don't know, some people say 20, 30, 40, 50 years, and you have these islands that are sinking, you have all this shit going on, but me just living day by day, I just don't see climate change, like, I made a video about this not too long ago, I just don't see it, that I, I need to, like, vote, and be like, like, I, like, most of the time when I'm affected by weather, it's because it's so fucking freezing where I live, and, like, it fucking 30 degrees below zero one day in the winter, and I'm just, like, fucking miserable, miserable, and I don't live in Alaska or anything like that, I live... You know, I live in fucking New York State, which New York weather is fucking weird. Like, if we're going to be honest, New York is just fucking strange as fuck when it comes to weather. But it's just so, like, fucking annoying when I hear about how the world's going to end and how it's just getting so hot. And whenever it's, like, a really hot day, they fucking go crazy. When it's a really cold day, you don't hear shit. Uh, you know, because I guess it goes against their narrative, right? But... You know, it's not something I'm ever going to vote on. I'm not going to vote on climate change because I just don't see it, like, really, like, being, like, a, a, a pressing issue for me. I care about inflation a lot more. I care about, like, everything else in the economy, jobs, like, all these other things, like, things that I am actually affected by. And Donald Trump is obviously the better candidate when it comes to, like, anything on the economy whole price controls, the Soviet era price controls that, that Kamala wants to put in in, in, in the United States, and, and that's going to work out so great. It's so frustrating. What the fuck is this fucking truck doing? I'm just stuck in the middle of the road because he's, okay, he's backing up into the side street. Okay. That's fine. Uh... Yeah, I, I should probably make another video about that. But, like, there are things that sound great on paper. Like the Green New Deal. Like the price controls. Like the minimum wage. All these different things. That, like, when, when you just, like, don't know anything about how economics work or how anything works. And you hear all the things these Democrats are saying. It sounds like they are obviously, like, the best party. And, like, they're the ones you should vote for. Because they propose all these things that just sound great. Communism itself sounds like a great thing. But... 
what, when it's actually implemented in practice, it actually causes a lot more harm than whatever issues it may solve. So that's why this shit just, I, I never really take it seriously. People talk about strong action against climate change. It's just like, really? Like, like okay, if, if like these sources of energy, if we're talking about wind power, solar power, like all this other shit, uh, and electric cars, and electric cars has its own problems when it comes to like, you know, the power grid is not gonna be able to support all that, all like like everyone going electric, that's one thing. Uh, and you know, I talked about that before, but it's like, all, if all these things were superior, then the market itself would decide that that it is and people would flock to buy these things instead of the government forcing people to have it like a gas powered car ban is like the most fucking ridiculous thing I've ever heard and like you know that's what a lot of Democrats are pushing for I think Joe Biden uh, uh, is trying to get that like by 2030 whatever the fuck it is 2032 maybe it's 2035 so that alone is making me like yeah I can't vote for Paris or whoever because like, just on that, forget everything else, just on that, just proves how fucking incompetent these people are and how they're just going to make my life worse, not better. Like, why would I vote for these fucking clowns? It, it doesn't make any sense. And the whole climate change issue is definitely, you know, not <laughs> as pressing of a matter as they make it out to be, I don't think.